Hey Marcus, please tell Kara thank you so much for the zucchini slicing pasta tip because I literally had no idea I have had this Copper Chef slicer this entire time. I did not know I could make zucchini pasta out of it. Um, dinner time is uh, pasta. So this isn't real pasta, it's just strips of zucchini. Um, I found this really cool thing on Amazon. Um, I've been using it lately. It just slices, it just makes the pasta, you just go like that. And there you go. So in gratitude, I just wanna say thank you so much. Please tell Kara, I watched her videos yesterday and I successfully made pasta zucchini out of this using this Copper Chef slicer. And I know she eats raw, but I'm gonna go ahead and boil mine now. I've never made pasta zucchini before, but this looks delicious. And oh my gosh, maybe I'll try some raw, but um, I got some water boiling over here, so I'm gonna cook it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my zucchini pasta I just made that I've never made before. My boiling water now. Thank you, Kara, for the cooking tip. Pretty cool, man. I never made zucchini pasta before. So let's see how she turns out. And Kara says she throws the rest of these in that are mostly water into her smoothie. Every other day I'll make a juice. These are, uh, I got dandelion greens, broccoli, broccoli stem, red pepper, and uh, asparagus in there. And I'm gonna add my zucchini pastas uh, leftovers to it as well. They're like 90% water. But I see all the luscious seeds in there. And you know what? I'm gonna throw those into my garden and grow some more. Okay, I've never made zucchini pasta before, but I'm gonna call this done. I'm guessing this only took like three or four minutes. You don't want it to overcook. And then I'm gonna add some avocado oil to this pan here. Some kosher salt. Some freshly chopped garlic. I know Kara would love that. It's a little hot though, so I'll turn that down. Some adobo spice blend seasoning. Oops, that's a little much. And the zucchini pasta. Okay, actually that wasn't too much. That's just right. Let that fry up a little bit. And I'll let you know how it tastes, Kara. Thanks for the tip. Much appreciated. And now I'm going to plate it up. Okay, well, doesn't so much look like pasta anymore, but again, this was just experimental going on an idea. And I'm going to try it. I'm still very much appreciative of the idea. Thanks, Kara. Maybe I shouldn't have boiled it. Not sure. I'll let you know how it tastes. Okay, so here it goes. Oh, actually it doesn't look too bad. It's still really hot though. So we got garlic, salt, adobo spices, olive oil. Did I say garlic? Okay, here we go. Still hot, 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 hot. Oh, okay. You know what? I think next time I will just fry it in the pan rather than boil it. But it's still good. Thanks, Kara. Really appreciate your tip on this one. I'll keep watching.